Thanks for tuning in today. This is Rob Commodore. I'm coming to you as Rob in the Raw. So Rob in the Raw is going to be a series of eight weeks where I'll come to you once a week, and I'll share a little a little piece of me, let's call it, uh, a little story that may impact you, may inspire, may cause you to take some action, may make you just think. That said, uh, you know, today I just want to share a little bit about the early beginnings of the, the Rob Commodore. So growing up, it was one of seven kids, small house, 745 square feet. You know, we had to, my father was working three jobs. We money was tight. So as kids, if we wanted something, we had to go out work and get it. But what happened was one day, my mom when she took me to the store where we're at G C Murphy's, and like I said, about eight years old, and got all our goods and whatever we were buying that day, and put them in a shopping cart, pull up to check out. And as we're checking out, the cashier totals everything up. My mother reaches into her bag or purse, and when I think she's going to pull out money, she pulls out this little booklet, and they're food stamps. And right away, I knew what that was. I knew what it meant. And it meant that, you know, we were poor. And it was hard to, I guess, absorb that day. But what happened, as soon as I said, saw that, I said to myself, this is never going to happen to me. I'm never going to be in a position. I never want to be in a position where I'm going to have to uh, rely on food stamps to get through. So that was cost for, for my drive. So at, from that point forward, I was like, I was driven to, you know, to do the best I could, to succeed as best I can, and, and to, quite frankly, make as much money as I could to survive and, and thrive and, and be successful and help other people along the way. So for I got a job at 11 years old delivering newspapers, 4 o'clock in the morning, and it was crazy. So he yeah, was 11 year old in the city, northeast Baltimore. It was it was a pretty scary sight. So uh, as you can imagine, you know, if you, you go around in the city and in just different areas, you'll see the statues of the Blessed Mother or the, or, uh, or or Jesus out there. And every time I, I would see a statue at 4 o'clock in the morning, I would sit there and say Hail Mary or an Our Father, just to be uh, protected so nothing would happen to me in the middle in the middle of the night or in the morning. But anyway, so for several years I did I, I delivered newspapers and then that was time for me to go to high school uh, my father gave me a choice it was either go to a public school pay nothing or go to a private school and I went to Curley and have to pay for it because he couldn't afford it that said I chose to go to Curley and, and pay for it and as you know for, so for four years I was up 4 a.m. every morning delivering newspapers working you know paying my way through school Go, going to school, doing my homework, playing sports, and coming back home and, and knocking on doors to collect more money. So it was a hard go, but uh, it, it was it was rewarding. It was gratifying to me, and uh, that's and that's where I started. So you know what I want to ask you tonight is you know what, what was a, where was a moment in your life that triggered a change for you? What was something in your life that impacted you to make make a difference or do something different or take a different uh, course of action? Love to hear you share that with me. Again, I'm coming to you live for the next eight weeks. Once a week, I'm going to share a little bit of me with you. I love for you to share this with your friends, share it on Facebook. And, and again, I like to hear what's impacted you or what made a difference in your life. Reach out to us at www.talktorob.com or you can email me at rob at talktorob.com. Thanks for tuning in and look forward to t talking to you next week.